What's going on you guys? This is a Mex Kid. Yeah, another Dell Optiplex 5040. This is the small form factor video. I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the processor. To do that, you're going to remove the front cover, uh, the side cover panel. There's a little latch right here you press on. First thing you need to do, I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the front cover bezel. There's a little clips right here. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the SATA and power cable and move the hard drive caddy. And there's a little secure clip you have to press on to remove the hard drive cage. Disconnect the SATA and power from the optical drive. And you're going to move the fence route. And you're going to use a Phillips screwdriver. There will be two screws on the top, two, two in the bottom to remove the heat sink. Now uh, you're going to disconnect the CPU fan, it's a 4 pin. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the paper towel and wipe down the old Tomo compound on the processor before you're going to remove it. And it's got a Intel Core i3-6100 i running at 3.7 gigahertz. It's a dual core. And I'm going to be upgrading guys uh, to Intel Core i5. Intel Core i5 uh, 6400 running at 2.7 gigahertz. This is a quad core. And the way you install the processor, here's the edges right here. One on the right, one on the left. And that's how you're going to install it just like that, the processor. Now I'm going to take the, the heat sink and I'm going to put paper towel and you're going to go ahead and wipe down the, just take a, the debit card or credit card you have and wipe down the old thermal compound off and you do that just take a napkin and wipe it off. If yours really you can't wipe it off then what you need to do is you take a debit card or credit card and just scrape it off like this. Take it off. Now I'm going to take the... Take a rubbing alcohol. 70%. Uh, you can just get it in any pharmacy store. You can go to any store and go to pharmacy. They have a rubbing alcohol. You have to go a minimum of 70%. And just a little bit of a napkin. And you're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound off from the heatsink. If you can get a 70%, then you can get a 91%. They have 50% is kind of low, but you need at least 70% rubbing alcohol. So you're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound off. Like this is good enough. Now I'm gonna take the Thermo, new thermal compound and just apply to it. I like the Arctic Silver 5 or you can go Arctic Silver 5 MX, it's pretty good, or Cooler Master. And you're going to take a credit card or debit card you have and just swipe it evenly. That's good enough. Now you're gonna connect the four pin CPU fan back to the motherboard.
Now you're going to connect back the SATA power cable back to optical drive. And you're going to press on the secure clip here to lock it. You connect the sitting power cable directly to the hard drive back. Now you're gonna install back the front cover basil. And install back the fence route. back the side cover panel and you're done so guys this will be the end of the video thanks for watching bye